hi guys i hate that my camera kind of like doesn't pick up on everything but i dyed my hair and if you saw the video and how i did it like i've never dyed my hair before so i just did it at home it was a diy project and like it was looking a little sketchy at first but if you want to see how i did it please refer to that video today i have an amazon fashion finds kind of video I'm very chill just little things that i found on amazon that i wear a lot or are i just picked up like a lot of it i haven't tried on i found these really cool pants and they were super cheap so i'm thinking of making this like into a series and just doing a few amazon haul kind of videos every like month or two it's just very convenient first of all and also the prices can be really cheap on there i found that it's a great place to get jewelry like this ring that i wear a lot this was like 10 bucks and so shiny it looks beautiful when you like stack a bunch of rings if you saw my valentine's day video you've already seen this but this little puffer tote is the most amazing thing ever i really love it i would say it's kind of like a dupe for the puffer tote that my mom made it if you know that brand on instagram they have something very similar to this and it has like their little logo here it also has like bigger straps if you want to make it bigger and you can like throw these ones inside so you can either have it like this or you can have it mini size and just like carry it like that yeah it's pretty spacious inside they have like a little zip compartment here and then they have like two places here for like wallet keys or whatever i just really love the look of this i know that we're going into like spring and stuff so this is more like a winter bag but i think it will look really good for the end of winter and just like next winter i definitely will be still wearing this i also definitely got cheeto Mm, damn it i got it everywhere i got hot cheeto dust on it already so that was really upsetting it also comes in a bunch of different colors so i don't really love these these like came out weird but i will show you anyway i love the clock rings i don't know if you've seen jesus wait how much packaging do you need but like this is one of them i don't really like it just because like the face was sparkly and everything so it just doesn't look as classy. It just looks like something that was sold at Sears. I used to go to Sears a lot with my mom when I was younger. They have those circular tables in the middle of the aisle, in the middle of like the walkway. They would just like sell a ton of jewelry and watches and stuff and it would all look a little bit tacky. There's definitely watches with like a glitter face. So that's what that reminds me of. Honestly, poor judgment call on this. Like I saw what it looked like on the screen and I was like, yeah, we'll try it out. This looks exactly like what it looks like on the website. So it's not even like I could claim being misled by false advertising. Like Brit, why? Why did you pick that? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it looks pretty bad on camera, huh? I did get this one that I like. This one looks way better. It's like, it looks like an actual like watch on a ring. And it's just like very dainty inside, but it's actually kind of like big. So this is one of the things that I would only wear if I had my nails done and had a few rings on just because like it's such a statement piece that I feel like it'd look weird if I just like wore it, you know? But I really like this one. I I just think like the clock rings are so cool. A pinky ring also, like with my nails done, it will look so good. And I love how that I can actually, like it's a workable clock, so I could use it to tell time. The other accessory are these sunglasses. If you have been on like my Instagram, I have these blue like sunglasses that remind me of Mycene dolls. I don't know if you know what Mycene dolls is. It's a very, it's just a very specific TV Barbie show thing that I used to watch, but I got something similar and I'm just really excited to try these on because I haven't tried them on yet. Oh yes. I love this look. It's so 2000. It says 100% UV protection. That's amazing. But yeah, I just love this like kind of surround look. Almost kind of looks futuristic, but also it's retro. So it just it's just an amazing pair of sunglasses. That's what these ones look like. They come in different colors, I think. I'm obsessed with these. Sheesh! Dude, these are awesome. These are actually really good quality too. And I love that they have this like logo right here because it makes it look a little bit more branded, more expansive. If I think I need to do a close up with this just one time for the one time. Like, look how good this looks. So shiny. It also feels really like good material like these. Nose pads are super nice. They like, they kind of have a little bit more squish and a little bit more like grip to them than most nose pads. They're not just plastic, you know? Oh, by the way, everything will be linked down below, of course. So just check the description for any links. So then I got a ton of like clothing items. Oh, one of which I already opened. Got this little crop puffer vest just because 
Like I think they're super, super duper cool. I didn't wash it and dry it yet, so it looks a little limp, but it will get like puffier once you do that. Damn, I look crazy right now. This is not the outfit for it. I got this in a small. Um, honestly, it's not that crazy. If I was wearing like sweats or something with this, this would look really good. Also though, like when I tried it on, I just tried it on alone. I kind of think it would look really good if you just didn't have a shirt underneath. Very like editorial. Definitely not functional. I wouldn't go out and like about like that, but for a picture, it would look really good if you were just wearing the crop vest. I think going into the spring months, this would be a really good transitional kind of outerwear because you can still be semi-warm. Crop puffers are just, I feel like they're gonna be in forever. I just don't think they're going out of style anytime soon. And vests, vests are slow in. I think that's a good investment to have. Like it will be something that you'll wear for a few years. This I'm super excited about. I'm so glad it came. This is like a baklava. I looked up the real name. I used to call it, I just was like calling it a hood thing. Put it on like this. It's so dope. <laughs> you guys are kind of nerdy and watch like those medieval kind of show or movies like when they fight and stuff and they have these on oh my god this is so cool hoods are something that i love wearing i just i don't know why but this was like a tank top and some like cargo pants the looks i really love this and it's really thick and warm so if you would look somewhere cold this session might be perfect because this would add extra like neck warmth this is what it looks like i think it's super dope it comes in a ton of colors and i'm pretty sure this was like 12 bucks okay it was 20 bucks sorry they like have like a coupon or whatever so it like ended up being like 15. let's see how much these sunglasses were that i'm obsessed with they are the sunglasses are 20 bucks they also come in gray so if you don't like pink you can always wear gray and that'd be like a super sleek look i don't know if i'm gonna like this it looks very thin everybody remembers like i was saying i really want to wear red more so i got this red scarf but the thing is i need to get like red shoes to go with it I just want to wear like an all gray outfit with this and just so cool. Yeah, I feel like different like little pops of colors are things like I want to do more. So like a little red, but match it with like the shoes or like green and green and like an all white outfit. You know what I mean? I'm working on it. I don't like this scarf though that much. It's very soft. It's just like too thin. I like a chunkier scarf to like add volume to my outfit. I will look for a different scarf option. And also comes in a lot of colors. But I like a puffy scarf. I'm excited for these pants. These pants, definitely just dope. I ordered some really cool cargo pants in like the men's department. The only thing is it only comes in April. So I was like, I'll just film this first and film another one later. I hope you guys enjoy these mini Amazon hauls because I feel like they're things that I can just do here and there. But look at these pants. I love the colors in them. There was an all brown one, like dark brown, tan, and white. So I was like, no, let's step out of your comfort zone and get some color. I will say they are thin. Okay, whoa, these are kind of dope. Oh my god, these were $10. <gasps> Bitch. I got this in a small because that's the smallest size and it definitely fits like, I would say size two um, because I'm usually size zero. If you're size four, you could definitely fit into these. This is what it looks like on the model and that's how I kind of wanted it to fit on me. I guess I just have to work out that booty more, you know? Overall, I'm really happy with these. I think they look really cool. But for $10, they have it in a green green, just like a, a like a lime green color and the dark green. Purple also, purple and pink. Black and tan, brown and black, brown and tan. Like they have a lot. I don't know what to do about these now because they're like loose, but they're so cool. Comment below if I should keep these pants. Maybe you'll see them in an Instagram photo. Something that I got from Ada Nola. I got this like cami bra from Ada Nola. It's really nicely fitted and it's like a workout top. It just reminded me that um, I got something very similar from Amazon. If you saw my gift guide, I'll link it below. It's literally the same thing. Like it's such a perfect dupe for the Ada Nola bras. They'd be perfect for like working out, yes, but also just like, like a crop top. And they come in a bunch of colors too. Those are a really good investment. Like they are not even an investment. They're pretty affordable. They're very supportive and just like really comfortable you can wear it for so many different things like, great for an athleisure look like if you just had that and like sweats and a little coat on it would look really put together speaking of coats i got this black coat again everything took a little bit longer than i expected it to although it is february so there's still a few good cold months most places of the world not in la really been wanting a black simple coat oh wait this is buttoned together what a dumbass like it's just good to have for outfits I wanted one that wasn't too long because the problem with being short is that most things are too long. This really is not too long at all. Um, so I'm 5'2", in case you were wondering. So like, 
this is how it is on me. It ends like just below my knee, so if you're taller, this might be like, this would be more of like a pea coat instead of a trench coat. I like long coats, but not too long. And it's really thick, I think it's wool or something like that. But it's super structured, really thick. Like an all brown outfit underneath this. Just this coat to go over it, really cute. That's it for my little haul today. Sorry if it was a bit low energy. Like I've just been really running around all day. Like I had an exam this morning at eight. And then I went to get donuts with my friend. And then I went to the gym, raced home, took a shower, filmed some other stuff. Now I'm feeling this. So like, kind of been a long day. I hope you enjoyed my Amazon haul. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe for more. Just comment below or something. Give me some indicator that you do like these so I can keep making more. Um, I don't want to be making videos you don't want to watch, you know? I think maybe I'll do like an Amazon streetwear lookbook. And I'm kind of really excited for that. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you in another video. Bye.